Okay, so today I'm playing around with a premium extension called Boombox. This works in After Effects and Premiere Pro, and it's essentially a sound effects library. And at the time of this recording, there's over 4,000 sounds available, and that library is constantly growing. And as they release new sound effects packs, you can automatically sync them up and have access to all those at no additional cost. So it's really, really cool. And this is from Mount MoGraph. They're the creators behind the popular Motion 3 extension, as well as their new extension called Wander, which I actually just reviewed a few weeks ago. If you want to check out that video, um, please follow the link down in the video description. And I'm also partnered up with Mount MoGraph, so if you are planning on purchasing Wander, Motion 3, or Boombox, you can get 10% off by using my promo code BOON. Alright, so this is a little map animation that I created a few years ago, and I'm going to be trying out Boombox on this one section of this map animation. It's right for where, where my title animates on to the main map. And it has this uh, big old like opacity flickering here. So I've already installed it. I'm gonna go to Window Extensions and select Boombox. Now, if you've ever used Wander from Mount MoGraph, it's the exact same interface. So it's really really clean, cool, easy to use. That's one of my favorite things about uh, Mount MoGraph is the interface is uh, super super smooth. So right here you can see on the first page we have all the sound effect packs, which uh, there are a bunch of them. You can see the name as well as the number of sound effects available. Um, you're going to need to download these if you want to use them. You can download them all at once or you can download them by pack, however you want to do it. I went ahead and downloaded all of them here. Now there's four main pages of this panel. Right here you have the main packs. Uh, you can browse in this page. Here you have the constellation where you can do like some sound mixing. And here you have like your history and your favorites. So to get more information about a pack, I'm going to click on one here, and here's a little uh, little menu down here. If you can't see it, hit this little triangle button. It gives me the name of it, and then I can see a bunch of tags of what this pack is all about. You can actually preview it. Super cool. So you can also click on a little menu here and hit click pack info and there's a description here as well as all the tags and you can preview it once again here. I don't know who made the artwork for these, but it's freaking amazing. God, look at that. Um, so for this particular map, um, I've picked out a few keywords that I, I think will help me when, you know, when searching these tags. So I'm looking for keywords like um, user interface. I'm gonna be looking for beeps, pings, notifications, alerts. So let's just use this pack for example. Um, I can already see that it has user interface. It already has beep, digital electronics. So this is pretty cool. So what I can do is I can just click on UI and that's gonna bring me to the browse page and it's automatically filtered it by this pack. You can see it right here and by UI. So on the left, here are all of the tags. So if I wanna filter it by more tags, I can. And over here on the right column, these are all of the sound effects that have been filtered and they're ordered alphabetically, I can grab this and I can move this real quickly to find one. And I can do the same with the tags over here. If you don't like this layout, you can make it more of a different layout by doing that, if that's what you prefer. You can also increase the size here if you're like me and you're visually challenged. Now you can just start clicking on some of these. You can favorite them as you have ones that you like, and you can also look at all the individual tags on each uh, particular sound effect. Now in the timeline panel here, I've actually added a marker, and this is right where I think I want the sound effect to be like hitting. So that's gonna help me visualize this here. To add the sound effect, I just click add. Now you can see that it applied this new clip here and there's a marker on it. Now that's like the cue point where I want it to be. So I'm going to click this and drag it and kind of link these two up. Now let's have a listen. Now when you add a sound effect, it's going to put that cue point right at the playhead. So if I delete this and I bring my playhead right back to my marker where I want the cue point to be, or I want it to match up, I can just click on add and now it's going to automatically put that there. So. Okay, that's cool. But if I wanna try out a few, I can just grab the next one. And then with this selected in the timeline, I can click on the drop down menu here and I can just swap the sound out. And now you can see it's put a different sound in there. I can do this for three. So I like one, let's go ahead and stick with one. 
Now, one really cool thing about this tool is how quickly you can just add a bunch of sound effects and layer a bunch on top of each other via this Q effect. So what I can do here is I can, as long as I have one sound effect that's in the timeline selected, I can grab another one. So I'm gonna grab this onboard startup and I'm gonna to go to the drop down menu again and I'm gonna cue sound and watch what happens. Okay, so this applies it and it automatically syncs it up with that other sound effect. So with that, as long as I have one of these selected, I can just quickly drop in a bunch of sound effects via this cue. I'm gonna add something a little more mechanical as well. I like that. See, now I can, uh, let's, go look, let's go listen to some other UI sounds of different packs. So I can click right here and I can actually pick a different pack here. So I could go to Strange Future, that's probably gonna have some UI. And now I can go down here and we can just type in UI. There's also user interface. So I, I can select two by control or shift clicking. So I can go ahead and add this. Now obviously these aren't really mixed or anything. So for that, I'm gonna go over to Constellation here. And what this allows you to do is quickly change the volume as well as the pan adjustments for each clip. Down here, it's gonna show me which sound effect I have selected. You can also keep an eye on which layer is selected over here in your comp panel. So as I move this arrow, it's basically gonna go between the clips on my timeline like chronologically. So it's just gonna to go to the next one, the next one, the next one. So if I bring my playhead back here, and then what, what it's gonna do, it's, gonna, it's set up to autoplay. So it's gonna autoplay, it's gonna uh, show me it on the timeline, and it's also gonna show me it right here in uh, this circular graph, so. Okay, so now we can see here we have the chill device chirp. I have the volume information here, and I have the pan information here. Now I can go grab it up here and check this out. As I move this around, you can see it changes the pan. So if I only want it to be in my right ear, and then I can change the volume of it. So if I move the volume here, I can bring this up. Now it doesn't look like you can make too many adjustments to the volume. It goes from like one to negative 16 dB. So to change that, you can click on this little button here and you can adjust minimum volume, maximum volume. And there's all kinds of little features here. Like if you click here, you can set um, auto play, the grid visibility, live polling. I gotta be honest, I don't know what that is. And then over here, more stuff that I don't know. And then I can just quickly cycle in between each here and drag them around. Now over here on this page, it shows some of the sound effects that I favorited. It shows uh, the history as well as the date of these sound effects that I've used. And it shows the ones that are in my project right now. Okay, so there you have it. That was a very quick look at Boombox from Mount MoGraph. Once again, this works inside of Premiere Pro as well. Let me know what you think of this down in the comment section. I think it's great. I can really see like some of these creators that are doing like music videos. Uh, this in conjunction with the Frequency React plugin, the things you could do would just be insane or even Mammo World's um, beat edit. So if you're thinking about picking this up or you wanna go check out more of uh, Mount MoGraph's products and extensions. I have all the links down in the video description. And once again, use that promo code Boone. And that's going to save you 10%. All right. I'll see you in the next one.